We're here in Rangemoor today, 60 years ago, Queen's Coronation. And 60 years ago, a special tree was planted here in Rangemoor. And we're here with Anne Wright, who planted this tree. How did you come about to become the planter of this tree? Well, I'd only been at school a few months. Uh, I'd only started Rangemoor School when I was five. And my name was drawn out of a hat uh, out of uh, 45 uh, pupils. And uh, the next morning I went to school and uh, to be told that I was going to do this ceremony and um, it was quite a daunting thought. <laughs> and the tree came from uh, Mr House's uh, Market Gardens, which is now known today as Berkeley Garden Centre. Uh, it was donated to the village um, because um, it, it was on Lord Burton's estate. Uh, there'd been a tree planted for Edward VII in Range Moor Hall, so uh, maybe that is what prompted them to plant a tree on this occasion. Lovely. So just give us a feeling of what it was like that day when, when you planted it. Lots of people around us, um, quite a gathering of Range Moor residents. It was quite a farming community, so lots of people uh, were here and with their families. And, and then we, we went on to have uh, tea afterwards in the marquee. Very, very lovely, lovely. And you've got a, a letter here. Yes, from... last year I wrote to the Queen and uh, I sh sending her a picture of the tree and the plaque. Mom, I hope you'll be interested in this brief story which took place in 1953 at Rangemoor. The picture above shows an oak tree which I planted in 1953 when I was five years old to commemorate your coronation. I was in the company of my headmaster, Mr. James Cooper, who still lives in the village today. My name has been drawn out from a hat to, in the honor of planting this tree. And at the end of the ceremony, I was presented with a commemorative box of chocolates, a half a crown and a peach for my efforts. A bronze plaque was planted in, by the tree, in which is now a subject of a preservation order. I have always been a royalist and I was delighted when my son met you uh, when you came to Tatenall Airfield in 1982. I still live in the same village and having never moved, I am your honour to be Madam, Your Majesty's humble and obedient servant. And I had a reply and it reads as follows. The Queen wishes me to thank you for your letter. Her Majesty thought it was kind of you to write to her and was delighted to see the photographs of the oak tree which you planted when you were a child to commemorate the Queen's coronation. Her Majesty was glad to learn that the, the, I treasured the memories of this special occasion and was pleased to see that the tree is still flourishing today. I am to say your thoughtfulness in writing to the Queen at this time is very much appreciated and to thank you once again for your letter. That's great, isn't it? That must make you feel real yeah, proud. Lovely. 60 years ago, how do you feel those 60 years? You know, to... Well, we've watched each other uh, bloom over 60 years, <laughs> the tree and I, so... Yes, it's very nice that my grandchildren can uh, visit it and uh, my son came to Rangemoor School and my grandchildren did, so it's um, a family community.